what's up guys welcome back to another youtube video <laughs> uh so do you, okay first things first do you like these shades i know you do okay can't see the haters okay i'm talking to you no, i'm just kidding um <laughs> all right anyways i wanted to kind of update you guys on where i'm at and where my life is currently going uh so i've made some changes in the last i would say a couple months of my life um so officially i am no longer with first form and i wanted to just kind of like publicly say this right now i'm not going to be answering questions about this i'm not going to be entertaining dms so if you are one of those people that would like to dm me and ask me questions i'm actually not going to uh, spend time doing that that's why i'm coming on here and saying what i would like to say so moving forward i have decided that personally with my own journey that i needed to make some changes with how i'm going about situations in my life and that being said i've learned a lot of lessons uh, i've i've learned that i need to grow in different areas of my life and those things also need to be focused on so that being said, I would like to also say that being with First Form completely changed my life. And I would never say that I was not grateful for that opportunity. I will always be grateful for that opportunity. And I think, you know, like when you're trying to elevate in your life, I think it's really important that no matter no matter what happens in a situation, you know, there's always there's always positives to look at. You know, like we can always sit here and like try to you know pick apart every little scenario and be like you know what you know this is that or this is that but it's like if you actually take a step back and take your emotions out of it you know there's always positivity in a situation and so I just would like to just state that I am extremely grateful I'm extremely grateful to be here um, and I'm also just very grateful that you know they took a chance on me and they believed in me when others did not you know, as you guys know, I've been kind of on this journey where, you know, I haven't been really taken seriously. Uh, it's been, you know, I'm going on eight years doing this whole fitness, whatever the fuck it is that I do. <laughs> um, and, you know, I would say, you know, it was really important to me and honestly made me feel really special that, you know, Andy saw a lot of potential in me. And so that, for that, I will always be grateful. And, you know, that will be something that I kind of carry, you know, with me on my journey. And so, you know... I'm going to be uh, rebranding myself, I would say, moving forward. Uh, you guys will see. Uh, you guys will see what's coming. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to say that now. Um, if you guys DM me, I'm actually going to just send like the YouTube video like in the direct message. So please don't get offended if I'm like not like, you know, having a conversation. Like I, I just don't have that kind of time to, uh, you know, answer everything. And to be honest, like I have nothing bad to say. Like I have nothing bad to say. If you're looking for some sort of answer, you're not going to get it. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna, I guess, fucking work out now. We just did some content, like the 90 degree heat, LOL, the hashtag Florida, hashtag uh, security guards always want to know what we're doing, hashtag uh, we always get stopped. Every security guard stops us. Um, you know, it's like, uh, you can't tell people you're making money from the, uh, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Now we just do this for fun. This is a hobby, right? It's a hobby. It's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, now we're gonna just uh, fuck around, throw some weight on uh, somewhere. I forget my workout, but Lucas don't remember. Okay. All right, bye. I feel like my eyes are glossy. They're glossy. You don't lie. A little bit. Yeah. And what, what do you think it is? Like the weather? The weather? Leg day, because that's all I train. But guess what? Uh, we we got upper body content yesterday. So. Um. If you guys forget. Oh, Miranda doesn't train upper body or whatever the hell you guys say. Just make sure you pay attention. Because I feel like my back looks a little muscular. I don't know. So, stay tuned for that. Um, this is still cold. But to be honest with you, I've spent many meals on a plane. Um, either eating them partially frozen or uh, like it's like that warm where it's like it's it's not hot and it's not cold it's a weird thing so like to be honest with you like i just eat it you know that's that's like the savageness in me a little bit i'm not caring we have fruit because you know carbs leg day gatorade i have no idea why this is here but i'm just what gonna is that? 
Yeah. You're asking is me. It I, energy drink? I have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna drink Did it. Did it just show up there? It. I think it's yours, actually. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. We are doing legs. Absolutely. <laughs> um, all right, so first things first, we have the hex squat. Um, to be honest, I feel like there's just so much improvement that I can personally make like on my own movements. Uh, and it's, I would say, crazy to say it like that because I've been trying to lift for like almost a decade now. Um, but I would say the key focus when I do this movement is I'm really trying to isolate my quads uh, because I've gotten so focused on, over the years, kind of just trying to like emphasize my glutes that it's actually been a lot harder for me to actually target my quads. Um, and like I've said this on multiple videos, there's like that joke like, oh yeah, like I'm quad dominant, but like I feel like we all are, uh, you know? So it's like, it's very important, like when you're training, you know, your muscle groups, it's very important to know, okay, so am I feeling this in my quads, my legs, my glutes, my hamstrings? Like what is the target focus here? Because that also determines the positioning, you know, whether, whether you're doing a hamstring curl, whether you're doing a quad extension, you know, hex squat, you know, whatever it is, like that stuff matters. The details matter because I could do a hex squat and just feel it in my glutes. So pay attention to details. <laughs> Fucking hate this so much. <sighs> so hard. This thing is so hard. The machine like weighs like 3,000 pounds. So you can't even like push weight on this if you, even if you wanted to. But yeah, that was close stance. Tried to target my quads. Hopefully it looked like that because I fucking died, so. All right, we are dying. Uh, okay, so hip thrust, glute bridge, whatever you wanna call it. Um, as you guys know, I used to kind of trash this back in the day. I didn't understand the whole, you know, building your glutes thing, I was just trying to I don't even know what I was chasing, but I was chasing something. So uh, we're not chasing the ego anymore. So we do the hip thrust. Um, so you'll see here, I have my feet elevated. Um, this gives me a little bit more range of motion when I you know, go up on the movement. Um, this is honestly like the best, uh, wow, I can't talk. The best Smith machine that I've done a, uh, like a glute bridge on. Uh, the one over there is absolutely trash. So if you ever see me doing it on there, just know like I'm actually like really mad inside. Um, but yeah, you know, again, I've gone over this, you know, several times, I would say like for YouTube or maybe I have it, I don't even fucking know anymore. Um, but I would say the key with this is you need to have full extension at the top. I see a lot of girls, especially girls, cause I barely see guys actually doing this movement. Um, I see a lot of girls in the gym and like, they just like load the bar on and like, they'll have like three to four plates and like, they're not even moving it like a half of an inch. And so like, that's not really doing much i mean you might get a burn and like a pump but you know this movement already isn't like the craziest full range of motion like in comparison to the hex squat i just recently did i mean i started all the way up at the top and i'm going all the way back down and i'm coming all the way back up so like this it's just like you're going up and then you're like slightly coming down and you're going up again so it's like the range of motion is very different and so like just don't cheat yourself on this there's no point you don't need to like show off okay it's like not it's not we don't need to do that all right so just put your ego aside and Lift correctly. Okay, bye. Okay, so he didn't get this originally on camera, but I asked him, I said, do you know this song? He's like, stay scheming, but like, I feel like he doesn't know the actual lyrics. I don't know the actual lyrics. <laughs> and I feel like, I also said this a little bit ago, but like, I feel like, again, like, please, like, just, just take my words, like, just very lightly. All right, we're having, we're having an issue on Twitter where sometimes I'm, I'm tweeting something and like, you guys are like sometimes making it more than what it is. So just like take my words with a grain of salt, please. Like just please, that's it. So I had said to him, I can tell you haven't lived a depressed life because you don't, you, you didn't listen to rap, you know? So basically I just, I found out everything I need to know. I'll do my, I'll do my set now. Yeah, absolutely. Anyways, uh, we're doing a cable kickback. Uh, glute need, actually. Uh, so basically, actually, I received some questions about this, so I'm, I'm actually glad that we're going over this. So, again, like we're elevated on the plate here, just it just gives better range of motion. I'd say if you're, you know, on the taller side, probably don't need the plate. Uh, but for me, I'm like five five, so the extra little boost helps. <laughs> uh, so I have here. Um, 
And to be quite honest with you, I don't even know if I do this at the same setting every time. I kind of just hope that I do and like, I'll know if I do it and it's like too high. So there's no like logic that goes into this. I just try to guess. So I should probably think about that. <laughs> but anyways, I stand here and like, you can kind of see too, like I'll pull my shirt. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of hinging my hips here so that when I'm here and I'm extending, I'm here so that when I'm here, I'm coming back down and I'm going right back to that starting position. So the key is, is you're not really ever losing that uh, isolation throughout the entire time. You're not just like kicking and then coming down. You're extending and then you're actually still feeling like squeeze, 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 squeeze. Because the whole point here is like, I'm trying to work on my, my glute uh, ham insertion. So it's really important to like really think about that. You know, I'm not just throwing away the movement. I'm really like controlling it. All right, we've got uh, some sort of drop lunge. Uh, again, no logic behind this. I I'm honestly, my coach is probably telling me I'm doing it wrong. Uh, you guys, you guys would actually be surprised at how much I actually get critiqued. I send him videos. He's like, "No, Miranda, you're doing this wrong. No, this is not right." I'm like, "Oh shit." I obviously don't know what I'm doing. So, anyway, anyways, uh, this is already elevated here because I'm already on the platform. So, uh, you know, we're kind of just like lunge until we fall. I feel like I don't know. So I'll have my dumbbells here. Again, I, I might be even doing this wrong, but I'm lunging, but I'm trying to make it a little bit more quad focused. So I'm gonna attempt, keyboard attempt, to kind of like push my knee out a little bit. Uh, it's uh, kind of loud in the gym right now. And, uh, huh? It's okay. Oh no, I know, I'm just, it's, it's, I, I mean it's like, it's loud in the gym, meaning uh, uh, everyone's uh, very excited about their, exercises, if you can kind of get the gist. All right, so I died today. <laughs> uh, last exercise we have, it's supposed to be a seated hamstring curl, but my gym doesn't have it. So I get to do the lying hamstring curl on the machine I can't stand because I don't feel it as much. So um, we're gonna just try to make the best of it, I guess. Um, all right. Key points for a hamstring curl. What? Drive your hips into the yeah, drive your hips down. Don't lift your butt up. Um, don't just rep out weight that you can't do. You know, squeeze your glutes. There you go, squeeze your glutes. Just, I'm sorry, I'm trying to like think in my mind like hamstring curl. Like, what do I focus on? But yeah, I would say when I like before I even do the movement, I'm I'm laying on the pad, and I actually like instead of like laying arched, I like actually like pull my butt down and together. I actually used to have the, what like the anterior tilt really bad. Yeah, I used to have that. Yeah, I tuck my hips underneath me so that when I'm actually doing the movement, I actually feel it in my hamstrings. That's again like if you're not doing it right, you'll just get a nice like calf burn, I think, or shin. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, I died, clearly. Um, this is a very efficient YouTube video. Um, man, we're all excited in the gym today, huh? All right, we are done here. Bye.